Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. It's not cute not knowing it's girls and it's scoop. Let's start off with a hug. We need this hug today, so come on. In my neck of the woods on the East Coast, the air quality has been terrible. You, just, you step outside and it's like, it's just this smoky thing. I, I was coughing a little bit yesterday afternoon and then my eyes, you know, would tear up. I guess for the next few days, we're all going to have to wear masks, at least on the East Coast, from New York down to Philly, down to Washington, down to some parts of the South. But it's been bad, just just bad from these Canadian uh, wildfires and just not good. It was like something out of a movie, like the air quality is this bad. So, you know. Hug those and wear your mask. I know some people don't want to wear the mask. Just put it on. You don't know what we're breathing in with these particles. But during the height of it, during the worst of it, put a mask on. Um, did we hug? Look, look, come here. This first story's got me upset. That's why I'm like, <laughs> I did I did that? We got to have prayers for actor John Amos. We know him as James, the dad, good times. They killed him off after one season because he didn't like the portrayal that, that he had as this black man. He said, y'all can't do better. So they killed him off. That famous scene, Esther Roll as Florida Evans. Damn, damn, damn. The show wasn't the same after they killed his dad off. John Amos, Roots, Kunta Kinte, uh, Coming to America. He was just in Coming to America, too. He's part of the culture. Fine actor. We met him years ago. And he was so overtaken by the love we showed him. And he was like, he didn't know how to receive it. And I was like, you're part of our culture and growing up. Let's keep the actor in prayer because apparently he is in ICU in a Memphis hospital. John Amos's daughter, Shannon, says her dad is the victim of elder abuse. Someone was abusing him, and they took him for everything he had. The daughter says she knew something was wrong because it's like, but everybody lives in Colorado. Why? How did you wind up in Memphis? Now, for the past few years, John Amos has been with his son. He had a son. When the son going to say something, what happened to your dad? You let something happen to your dad? They had to start a GoFundMe. A GoFundMe. The hospital bills. They took him for everything. Oh, so sad. Now, the daughter was, you know, she wasn't saying who abused him. But where's the son? Where's her brother? Because he was the one who was with him all the time. All over social media, father and son, son and father. Where is the son? And who abused John Amos? He needs to come forward and say something. How does this happen to your dad? Elder abuse is so real. From the stealing of the checks to physical harm. Never think that you won't live long enough. That you will need somebody to take care of you. Because if you live long enough, you will get old. That's life. Elder abuse. People don't want to talk about it, but it happens all the time. And it happens not only with strangers, but family members who are doing their thing. All because they want that check, they want that money, they want to see what they can get that they can sell. Just sad. Just a sad story. Pray for John Amos, everybody. He is in the Memphis hospital. We love Usher, but y'all know Usher is a serial cheater. He's been cheating since the days before Chili. Matter of fact, Chili said that she was still messing with Usher even though he was married. Usher is engaged to a woman who recently gave birth to his two youngest children. 
And they're saying that the fiance is like, oh, I don't know if I can trust you. Because apparently there's been a lot of flirting with him and Kim Kardashian. Kim showed up at some of the Las Vegas shows and flirting with them. Uh, sure, I know you're a serial cheater. I love your music. I love you. I know you're a serial cheater, but don't go there. Don't do that. This is a woman that had just has had two of your babies. These babies is babies. Don't do that. Don't you hurt that woman <laughs> over no damn Kim. She's she's looking for her next victim. So I'm just saying. Usher. Usher baby. You don't need to do that. Usher. <laughs> Look at me. In a real auntie voice. Usher. Be careful. Don't do that. Jamie Foxx, his reps are disputing reports, which I said about a couple weeks ago. He did not suffer a bad reaction to COVID shots. This doggone conspiracy story. Jamie is in one of the best facilities for physical therapy for stroke victims or brain disorders and things. He is currently learning how to walk. Because that's the steps you take. You go from a hospital to rehab. They say he's lost his left side. I know this story all too well because I'm a stroke survivor and I lost my right. I had to learn how to walk. You got to learn how to get the mobility. Just so you can do simple things like pick up a pen. I couldn't even do that. Um, but he's learning how to walk. I know for me, learning how to walk... <laughs> was the, one of the hardest things ever. And I remember one day, I was having a little hissy fit because I would have to walk these steel steps. Them, steels, them steps was hard. And I said, I don't feel like doing those steps today. John, that girl turned around and said to me, well, I guess you ain't going home. And I was like, Needless to say, I walked up the stairs, but it, it hurt. It was hard. It was, I just couldn't believe you don't think about, well, you just put one foot in front of the other when you're learning how to walk again. It was just the hardest thing for me to do. Keep Jamie in prayer as he, he has to regain his mobility and regain his life. It's going to take them a few months. People can recover. They can recover. Pray for him that he regains that mobility, but he is on the path to recovery. Don Lemon, who is having the last laugh now? Yesterday, I told you, the big boss at CNN that fired him. He got fired. Not only was he a horrific manager, the ratings were terrible, and that will do you in every time. Could Don Lemon return to CNN? Hmm. He said he's open to any, any and all options. And he's going to enjoy his summer. I know Don has said things and done things. He didn't deserve how they treated him, though, at the end of CNN. And that boss firing him was, you shooting yourself in the foot. He was the only one that they were, he was left to talk about at that, at that network. And you get rid of him. It'll be interesting to see if Don winds up going back. Tiana Taylor and our Philadelphia Eagles quarterback, Jalen Hurts. What's going on? It's a commercial for her new sneaker, and the commercial is really good. Um, our quarterback, I'm from Philly, Eagles fan. Our quarterback, Jalen Hurts, fine job acting. Tiana Taylor is amazing. And she is still on tap to play Dionne Warwick in a movie. Trying to find out some stuff about the BET Awards. Sunday, June 25th on BET. The writer strike. How is this going to affect the BET Awards? Will they do it differently? Will there not be an audience? That's what I'm hearing. Drake is leading the nominations, followed by Glorilla. Remember when I came on <laughs> at the first, when she came on the scene, I didn't know what her name was, and I was calling her Gorilla. And Toy said, ah, ah, it's Glorilla, it's Glorilla. Glorilla, Lizzo, Beyonce are also leading the anniversary um, 
leading the award nominations, but the 50th anniversary of hip hop, which is this year, will be acknowledged in a big way. Don't know how, but the 50th anniversary of hip hop is going to be incorporated into the BET Awards. And as I get more information, I will pass it along and let you know. Leave a comment because I love to hear from you. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a day of what's going on. Pray for John Amos. Those reports coming out of Memphis are not good. And continue to pray for Jamie Foxx that he gets his mobility back. I'm Patty Jackson. Thanks for joining me. I am your auntie of pop culture.